Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. For today's tutorial, our lesson is about Pythagorean Theorem and the applications of Pythagorean Theorem. So let us have the condition under the Pythagorean Theorem. In this theorem, it states that in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So let us consider this triangle ABC in which this triangle is a right triangle. So let us have first the legs and the hypotenuse of this triangle. Remember that when we are asked for the legs of a right triangle, it is the legs in which right angles were included. So let's have here the side AB and side BC. Form a right angles here. Therefore, our leg R side AB and side BC, in which the longest side is what we call the hypotenuse of our right triangle, in which in Pythagorean theorem, we can note these sides as small letters A, B, and C, in which A and B are the legs of the right triangle, and C will be the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So let us have the following statement under the Pythagorean theorem. Number one, it states that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs. So we need to find the sum of the squares of these two legs. Therefore, we will have a square plus b square, in which this expression is equal to the square of the lengths of the hypotenuse. So in our figure, side AC is the hypotenuse of this triangle, or we simply have here small letter C. So it means that a square plus b square is equal to c square according to the Pythagorean theorem. So if you notice here, if the hypotenuse was missing, we may use this formula c square is equal to a square plus b square. But we can also find the missing length of the given length using the Pythagorean theorem formula, using another formula. For example, if side AB or side A here was, is missing, then we may use the formula A square is equal to C square minus B square. We simply get the difference between the square of the hypotenuse and the other leg given. Another one, if the length of side BC or side B here is missing, then we may use the formula B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So again, same with this formula, we simply get the difference of the square of the hypotenuse and the other legs given. Let's try some exercises. Number one. C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle EFG with sides A, B, and C. Find the missing length if A is equal to 12, B is equal to 5, and C is unknown. And if A is equal to 8, B is equal to unknown, and C is equal to 10. And last, A is equal to blank, B is equal to 40, and C is equal to 50. Using the formulas under Pythagorean theorem, let us solve for the missing length of the following. Let us start with number 1. Missing here is the length of side C. So if you notice here, C is the hypotenuse or the longest side of this triangle EFG. Therefore, we may use the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. For us to get the length of C here, let us substitute the length of A and the length of B. Therefore, we will have C squared is equal to the square of 12 plus square of in which this 2 is equal to 144 plus 25. 144 plus 25 is equal to 169. So for us to get the length of C, let us square both sides of our equation. Therefore, C squared is equal to C and squared of 169 is equal to 13. Therefore, the length of side C here is equal to 13 units. Let's have example number 2. Given that A is equal to 8 and C is equal to 10, let us find the length of side B. 
So for this case, we are asked to find the length of our leg. Therefore, to get that, let us have this formula, p squared is equal to c squared minus a squared, in which we will simply subtract the square of the given leg and the square of the hypotenuse. So for us to get the length of side B here, let us substitute the length of side A and the length of side C here. Therefore, we will have B squared is equal to 10 squared minus 8 squared, in which this one is equal to 100 minus 64. 100 minus 64 is equal to 36. So again, for us to get the length of side B here, let us square both sides of our equation. Therefore, b squared is equal to b, and square root of 36 is equal to 6. Thus, the length of side b here is equal to 6 units. Let us have the third one, in which side a here is missing. When given b is equal to 40, c is equal to 50. So this time, another leg here is missing. Therefore, we may use the formula a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Same with example number 2, we simply find the difference between the square of our hypotenuse and the square of the length of our legs here. Therefore, let us substitute the length of side b and the length and the length of side c here. Therefore, we will have a square is equal to 50 square minus 40 square and this 2 is equal to 2,500 minus 1,600. 2,500 minus 1,600 is equal to 900. Let us square both sides of our equation for us to find the length of side A. Therefore, square root of A squared is equal to A and square root of 900 is equal to 30. Therefore, the length of side A here is equal to 30. Units. Another example that we may use the Pythagorean theorem, let's have this problem. Miss Green tells you that a right triangle has a hypotenuse of 13 and a leg of 5. She asks you to find the other leg of the triangle. What is your answer? So first, let us construct a right triangle in which the hypotenuse is equal to 13 and the leg is equal to 5. So this will be our right triangle in which the hypotenuse here is equal to 13 and the leg is equal to 5. So we are asked to find the missing length of the other leg. So if we are asked to find the length of side A here, then we may use the formula A square is equal to C square minus B square in which the length of our hypotenuse here is given. And the other leg is also given. Therefore, let us simply find this, the difference of their squares. Substitute the lengths given here. Therefore, we will have a squared is equal to 13 squared minus 5 squared. In which this 2 is equal to 169 minus 25. 169 minus 25 is equal to 144. So again, to find the length of this side, let us square both sides of our equation. Therefore, square root of a square is equal to a, and the square root of 144 is equal to 12. Therefore, a is equal to 12. Thus, the missing length of the other leg is 12. Let us have our last example. A 35-foot ladder is leaning against the side of the building and is positioned such that the base of the ladder is 21 feet from the base of the building. How far above the ground is the point where the ladder touches the building? So before we compute for the answer, let us have first the illustration of the ladder that leans against the wall. So let us consider this illustration. We have here this wall and this is the ladder. According to the problem, this ladder is a 35-foot ladder. Therefore, the length of this one is equal to 35 feet. And another given here that the base of the ladder, this one, is 21 feet from the base of the building. So, this is the base of the ladder and this is the base of the building. Therefore, their distance is equal to 21 feet. 
So we are asked to find how far above the ground is the point where the ladder touches the building. So uh, let us name this length as x. So if you'll notice in our illustration from the floor and from the building, we form here a right angle in which this one can be considered as right triangle by the definition of the right triangle. So if this is the case, we may use the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. So let us have this formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared in which A and B are the legs of our right triangle and C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So given here the length of the hypotenuse which is 35 and the length of the other leg which is 21 feet. While the other leg is equal to x since we don't know the length of that one. Let us substitute this given here to our equation. Therefore, we will have 35 squared is equal to x squared plus 21 squared. Let us find first the square of these two numbers. Therefore, we will have 1225 is equal to x squared plus 441. Let us combine the like terms. Therefore, we will have x squared is equal to 1225 minus 441. And the difference of the two is equal to 784. Let us square both sides. Therefore, we will have square root of x squared is equal to square root of 784. In which square root of x squared is equal to x and the square root of 784 is equal to 28. Therefore, the length of side x here is equal to 28 feet. Then, the point where the ladder touches the building is 28 feet above the ground. And that will be the answer for this problem. So that is how we will deal with Pythagorean Theorem and the application of the Pythagorean Theorem. That's it for our tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!